This exhibit is reproductions of da Vinci's, Leonardo da Vinci's inventions from his notebooks. Uh, da Vinci kept notebooks his whole life and used every square inch of paper. And we're talking thousands of pieces of paper by the time he passed. This exhibit uh, brings a lot of that stuff to life, including a lot of things that have never been built. Okay, so this is the tank, and it's, uh, we're assembling it right now, so there's some pieces missing. It is a wooden tank. There were a couple of drawings that da Vinci did. Uh, it was never built during his time, never used. <laughs> but the idea here is to have a, a you know, movable room from which soldiers could aim cannons, and these down here are actually cannon ports. You can see the cannon sitting on the ground over there. Four soldiers in here, and they all get around the wheels and turn in concert. They can move the tank and even rotate it, steer it. Uh, I, it would be incredibly difficult to get it up over hill, but on flat ground, you could actually move it around. Of course, you'll notice that this tank is wooden, so if the enemy has figured out how to set their arrows on fire, you might be in big trouble. This here is an example of a saw where da Vinci replaced human power with water power. Uh, we don't have a stream here for the paddle wheel, so it's, it goes back to being human powered. And then there's a series of linkages on the inside and then a pulley and rope system. And together they move the saw blades up and down and also slowly pull the wood into the blades. This one, whether or not it was built or attempted, uh, we're pretty certain that it failed. <laughs> the idea here is that somebody could stand in this basket and by the pilot pumping their feet and making their arms go up and down could activate the system of pulleys and make these wings flap and theoretically get you up off the air, off the ground. Uh, not going to happen, of course. This was built from a tiny drawing in da Vinci's notebooks. The experts are now saying that they don't think Leonardo actually drew the picture for this. So um, assuming some of his assistants occasionally picked up the pen, maybe this was drawn by one of his protege. Um, this is functional, it's got a chain drive, and is the sort of thing that da Vinci would, uh, you know, would apply his mind to. And we're talking about the 16th century, so bicycles didn't actually appear until the 19th century. Another example of da Vinci, or at least people in his studio, being way ahead of their time. He had an intuition for mechanical advantage, so he uh, designed many ways of using mechanical advantage, meaning gears and levers. And he had an intuition for putting those together and solving problems.